All right, fifth graders, day two on our imaginary hybrid of drawing creatures. So I had finished drawing in pencil, and I outlined with a thin Sharpie all over my entire drawing, making sure I had a messy mat underneath. So this left me with a pretty simple line drawing. I did color in the eyes and make those a little bit darker. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to erase any pencil lines that I can see. So take one big eraser and erase those pencil lines as best as you can. I can see some in here and here and then the legs. That'll just kind of make your drawing look a little nicer. Thin Sharpie. I'm still using that same Sharpie. But now I'm going to try to get some line variation. So that means I'm going to try to get thick areas and then I'm going to have them stay skinny in some spots. That's going to make some of your lines stand out and look a little more bold just because they're thicker. I, st I don't want to do that all over. I still want to have some spots that are thin. But maybe here I'll get that one a little bit thicker. Then you're going to use your value sheet from last year to get some ideas on where to add different kinds of value. So I'm going to start with that first one, the cross hatching at the top. So that means I'm making lines and I'm going to cross them like I'm playing tic-tac-toe. If I keep them spread apart, I get a white value. If I add more lines, I'm going to get a really nice dark value. And I went out of the lines there, so I'm just going to fix that by making it a little bit thicker. Really thick. <laughs> so I might add cross-hatching all the way under his head. I could try hatching. That's just using lines. If they're far apart, it looks light. If I make more lines, I'm going to get a darker value. Stippling. Those are those dots. With a marker, they don't make nearly as much noise as a pencil. So if I stipple and I make my dots go really close together, they're touching and almost coloring in that area, it's going to look thick. And if I break them apart and spread them out, it looks like a lighter value. So right there in his little um, toe, I actually have some really cool values happening just by making my stipples look different. You can use scribbles to add value. You could use a pattern like zigzags. That doesn't mean in one spot I'm trying to use all of them. I'm trying to spread it out across my creature and just create values in different places. Another one I see on this pattern sheet is circles. So maybe in the hooves I have little circles everywhere. So you want to add a lot of different types of lines and a lot of different types of value and texture using that helpful sheet from last year. When you are finished, Mrs. Cleary will have put a name tag on your project and you can put it up on her table in a pile.